Alrighty. Long time no see. It's uh, It's been a minute. This is a, just a quick video. Basics. I wanted to update you on uh, the town and country. I know it's been a long time since I've done like a real walk around with me showing you guys the van and what's been going on. Um, about early June, whoops, uh, I sold the, sold the 96 and I put the two grand I got from that into this. Uh, back in early January, I brought this van home. Uh, I did plugs, wires, intake, gaskets, um, whole lot upper end job. Uh, let's see what else did I do. Oh yeah, I resurfaced the ca uh, rotors. Uh, I did the other caliper. Power stop pads. And I think that's where I stopped. Then I sold the van. I got the tires for it. I had to end up replacing the brake line and let them do the uh, flex hose while it was in there. Uh, oh, headlights. Got some new ones. That wasn't too hard to install. I mean, there's, there's a whole list of things. I, I have all the receipts. It's just hard to know. I mean, tires were like 300 and change to install. Uh, I'd, I'd have to, uh, I mean, we, we could look. My uncle got me the seat covers and the floor mats. Sorry, I've been dealing with my aunt's houses, so there's a lot of stuff in the rear right now. All right, got to replace that door actuator. Um, I mean, just a uh, PCV transmission service. I mean, just a bunch of ins and outs, little stuff, I guess. Uh, I still have to print out the receipt. I did get a hitch on. I had to fix one piece of the wiring for it. Now, this is one of my one gripe with it. Kurt stopped making the hitches for these about two years ago. So you have to get this generic piece of shit uh, hitch. And there's only... I mean, see, they, they could have at least gone straight out with it. And it would have, my hitch would have at least came up halfway to the bumper. So now I've got this bolt together piece of crap. I'm not happy with, but it's kind of like my only option. So I think I, I didn't spend my two grand on that. That was, was something else. Uh, all the other stuff, it, it just, it went by so quick between the windshield and tires. That, that was like over a grand. And I did have to spend at least one month of my insurance from that money I got to this. Uh, I mean, it stops. As soon as you put the ABS fuse in, it acts all crazy. And it, it, the system's not getting enough pressure, basically. When I put the ABS fuse in, all three tires ended up getting hot. Because you could feel it activating and actually at some point it would go, uh, it would lock up the wheel and skirt on the concrete. So I know that wheel is getting enough pressure. That one, sort of, sort really, really not. That one, like the, there's like almost no pressure going to the rear. And I know when I got back, that drum was actually hot. Well, not hot, but it was hotter. The front two were on fire, and actually you could smell brakes. But this one was still st stone cold. So, I don't know if... There's something funky with this system. I don't know what they did when the guys bled the system after 
they replaced uh, the brake <clears throat> brake line. I have zero idea. And this is the one reason I think they painted it. That's overspray. That's that's a side note. But uh show you the brake line. I had to go back there with it and go down. It uh took the intake out and painted it. New plug wires. Um, it still has got a stumble at idle for some reason. It really shakes. I know the engine mounts are absolutely shot in this thing. New EGR valve right there. See, there's the ABS pump right there. And uh, it's got like a more traditional looking brake. There's new wiper motor. Still clunks when it goes, so I'm still supposing there's at least one bushing still broke, because that's actually what caused my mo uh, wiper motor to lock up, is when uh, the bushings, plastic bushings broke. It totally messed up the wiper motor itself. But, uh, thermostat as well. Uh, valve cover gaskets were done. And then I put a bigger battery in it, one that was sitting around from another vehicle. <sighs> Let's see. Just a bunch of little things, really. Found a, since we're a one plate state, I, I found a plate I had sitting around from, I looked up 1994 uh, Ohio license plate and actually a picture just like uh, this one right here picked, uh, well, not of that exact plate, but one just popped up that had the same blue design and everything so you know coming from this side it's like hey are you the original owner nah nah just just for show basically but i mean you, you can see how filthy that tire is compared to that that is just insane uh i did get a job so Yesterday, I was driving all over hell, delivering. Um, we're almost at 137. I got this with 134, 850. So I've almost put 2,000, uh, well, actually, trip. Well, it won't do it when it's off. Uh, I had, I did put 200 miles on, on it, uh, just driving around the street and so on. So I've done about, uh, 2,000, 1,700, uh, 1,500 miles or something like that off. That mark there's because it was actually bubbling there like it is right, right there. It was rusting underneath that door handle right there like that. So I ended up sanding it. And I tried sanding that, but I obviously need a grinder. Because at some point, I do need to, <laughs> I do need to fix that. I mean, it's, it's, it's good up until here. See, these have the, there's more overspray right there. These are longer shackles because of the uh, all-wheel drive system. Which, uh, oh yeah, I did get a manky ass gas tank strap. Where is the drive shaft so I can show you? Oh yeah, right there. It's right there. And then, uh, it's gonna focus. Oh yeah, then there's the differential and all that other stuff. I have to get a tailpipe custom made because how it goes out here they haven't made those in forever it's not it actually on the all-wheel drive ones it does not come straight out like this it's supposed to come out more of an angle like this because if you look um the heat shield kind of point kind of funky on this 
There's the unit. I need to get some drive axles. You can still get those, luckily. And then uh, I need to put the bump stops on, actually. So I still have to do that. I don't know what those are for, though. Still confuses me. So I just wanted to show you an update on this. The rust is starting to creep up here. Seems like the more and more I don't, the more I more I look at it, seems like it's it worse every time. Uh, oh yeah, she's she's going up there. Stupid plastic. That's what did it. It's moisture holding it in. And this was perfect till I had the tires done. This was not like this. It's just frame rails that are perfect. Not a single problem with them. Uh, these are Torrental uh, Classics. They were like 242 on eBay. But I suspect one of these tires has a bad, or at least a couple of them have bad belts. Because it like... 25 27 you can actually watch the wheel go like this and at 67 to 72 the steering wheel will go wobble really really bad so i've got i don't know i i want to replace the axles first before i do anything engine mounts and axles need to be done next i've got the engine mounts for it but I don't have the time currently to, to do all that. It's just busy, busy, busy. So, I'll give you a one little look over on it. I'm down to just this van. I literally, when I was, when I did a highway run and I did like 400 and change miles couple months ago I was doing 55 to 60 air con on I got 21.7 that is literally the best I got and I know if I went over 65 to 70 it went down to like 18 or something like that so I'm getting between 14 depending on how how I drive I get 13 to 15 in town basically with this thing it's a 4,200 pound van. I don't know if that includes all-wheel drive system. I'm going to suppose it is, but she's long. She's a long one. And, uh, I mean, she's just cherry. Um, there's the seats. I kind of have them more forward to fit a bunch of other clothes and stuff back them. Have these on to protect the seats. And I have the original floor mats that are in there, but I have these generic ones just so I could protect them. But, uh, I mean, it's also perfect under here. I'm just trying to cover everything up at the same time. I'm going to try and get, like, a cheap Econo car. I haven't decided what I might get because I want to keep the miles off of this because I'm going to be delivering food. Well, I'm not... I'm working for Pizza Hut now, so... I don't want to be putting a lot of the miles in... This thing all of a sudden is now either having some kind of electrical problem or something because when I was coming around a corner coming home one day, I was either slightly getting on the gas or letting off and the thing dropped two gears or dropped in the first gear as if it was in like low gear or something. It revved up for a second, I let off the gas and then it went back into drive or something like that. And like a few seconds before that, all the interior lights, like the gauge went out and the clock went out. Everything just turned off. The engine was still running, but everything went out. And then it came back on. Then after that, the transmission was acting up. So I don't know if there's a ground issue somewhere or 
if somehow my TCM and BCM are going out. I, I don't know. From the day I've had this, it has always given me the, oh, I hey, I'm overheating bull crap. Me, I don't wanna try to be careful with this door. To see when I turn it on, it should be cold. And then, as you see, oh, it'll it'll bounce up. But I've even unplugged the harness um, from that goes to the injectors and the sensor. I've unplugged the sensor, and it still gives me a hot warning. So I don't know if there's a white, the harness that goes underneath the dash to the BCM has been, there it goes, goes to the BCM, has been chewed, and it's grounding itself out. I don't know. I, when it comes to electronics, it is not my forte. So I'll just have to deal with that some other time, if I do. But... <clears throat> She's nice and quiet now. Let's see if I can... No, it probably won't come up on camera. I see it shaking on camera from how much it's vibrating. That was against my will, but I wanted to at least get it on camera. Uh, so yeah, 94 Town & Country, all wheel drive. That's uh, how, what she's up to right now, I guess. Those have always been in my each van I've driven, even back to the 99. Jewel blue is the paint. So, I don't know, I'm just kind of stalling at this point. Uh, everyone have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. Might be a few months, though. This is kind of out of randomness that I wanted to film this video, but I felt it was kind of due. But uh, hopefully I can start saving up for my Trans Am. There's a lot of stuff that is going on right now I can't exactly discuss till that happens. It's nothing big with, well, with me, I guess. It's my plans I have. So... You might not see videos for a few months. I'm literally trying to do a lot. There's a lot going on. So if you don't see videos for a period of months, I am literally back to back working and trying to clear out a house. My aunt is on her last leg shot. She's barely aware of what's going on anymore. She's been in a hospital in and out since March or May of this year, I want to say. And it's, it's been sad seeing her slowly go. So, well, I, I don't know. That's all I can really say right now. Because it, it just, it's, it's how it's happening. But I appreciate everyone hanging on there, especially for the few fans I do have on this channel. I appreciate every one of you, and I hope I can make another video here soon of this van or something else. I'm not exactly sure right now, but thank you everyone for chipping in in the videos. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.